might sound like a silly question, but do you see everything or do you just see bits of your image as you're drawing it? Do you know what you're going to do in five minutes or is it just appearing to you as you draw? You guys don't see the line. <laughs> so about 70 to 80 percent of the images already hit the set. But he improvises on the details as he goes goes on. Um, at any point did he use guidelines or is he always drawn just straightforward? Like any foundation or he always straight to the paper? Uh, I'll get back to you on that. I think he has something more to say. What was the question about guidelines? So, did, did he ever use guidelines and evolve to the point where he just went straight to paper? Or did, was he always that his style that he went straight to paper? Like a blue line technique, for example? So it's been about 10 years uh, that he stopped using pencil. He uh, has a college prep school. So, um, when he, he does a lot of demos for the students, <coughs> and in order to do sketching and coloring, it takes way too much time. You know, you're not a one is in Paris visiting all the different museums. There's nothing new in this world anymore. It's just that the tools and mediums have changed, it was, but it's, uh, it's pretty much the same as what they were drawing during the time that they were doing. So even, even when it comes to creature designs, it's about how much you know and understand the subject matter in order to combine those images together to create a new creature. So even if even if you only know about ten different species of deep under the deep uh, deep sea creatures, then you'll be able to create something interesting. So it's about it's the same for him. He, he collects a lot of references in order to create something interesting. Mm -hmm. uh, does he have any tips that he uses to maintain like proper uh, perspectives, like keeping everything relative, making the characters in the same space? Uh, he didn't really learn perspective from anyone. Uh, 
can you do that with a to-do list quickly? It came naturally as he drew more and more. Oh, you stand or catch the angle of that. Okay. So from the shoulder to the elbow to the wrist. So, as I mentioned before about the sense of volume, you apply the center lines. And then you now apply the understanding of bending at different angles. One thing he puts a lot of importance is uh, when you pose. Okay, right now with a bullman line and get to music. He uh he puts a uh, top priority on the the shoulder line and the pelvic line. Okay, so the top put your chair to do and then uh okay right now in position or go to our tool. So whenever you you're posing your figure, try to see where the shoulder line and the pelvic line is. Try to sketch it out um, even the parts you don't see. Like he's drawing, what he's drawing, doing right now. Try to draw, draw through it. So at, at that point, the pelvic line is also very important. 얼마큼 자기가 꾸는 거냐에 따라서 포즈를 되게 잘